Welcome back everybody. My name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Today we have another listing. We have a 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LTS. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. And little Rosie. <laughs> Abby, as always, thanks for helping out with the camera. My pleasure. So not only do you have the opportunity to purchase this 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LTS, you can also purchase a package. You have the opportunity to purchase a matching golf cart and a 2008 Renegade Stacker Trailer, 30 footer with a 4,000 pound lift. Wow. Let's go take a look. Let's do it. So you have a really nice four place gas golf cart with a convertible top and also the 30 foot stacker trailer really nice stainless steel bottom has a 4,000 pound lift let's go take a look at the inside and this does have the extended tongue for towing behind a motorhome double doors right here this unit is going to come with the toolbox and it has a really nice storage cabinetry area here with a workstation and also some storage cabinets all along the back here. Here's your 4,000 pound lift. So you can put a car up top, a car on the bottom, and there is a loft in the front where you can fit that golf cart. This is pretty cool. This is very neat, yeah. All right, coming on outside. Over to your patio side, you do have two awnings. They're both power awnings with the floodlights up top. They're LED floodlights. And this is a triple axle trailer. The hub bearings, brakes, sensors have all been serviced. This thing has been meticulously serviced just like the truck. Really, really nice combo. If you have any questions, give me a call. All right, let's get started. 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LTS. So this is on the Freightliner M2 chassis with the 350 horsepower Cummins. That's the 8.9 liter and rated at 1050 on the torque. Uh, so this is paired up to the Allison 3200 truck transmission, making this guy capable of towing 20,000 pounds. Wow. And, it, and it could. It's got a stacker trailer that, it could, has, that will go behind it. So let's do the tire size. These are the Bridgestone tires, and they are... 295 75R22.5 on really nice alloy wheels. Um, we're going to do the cargo capacity. I want to say that's inside the door here. Yep. Cargo capacity on this unit is 5,239 pounds. That's wow. awesome. <laughs> All right, got twin fuel tanks. We're going to go through the compartments and do the outside, and then we'll jump on the inside. All right. First compartment here is the Aqua Hot system, just been serviced. So that's going to take care of your heat and hot water on demand. Renegade double hinges and double latches, each of their compartments. So you got double hinges here with the strut up high, and then double latches on either side, keep it nice and shut. Steel compartments with really nice carpeting. And these are the power locking baggage doors. The regular Verona does not have that, but the Verona LE does. Outside entertainment right here, you got your radio and your television. That's nice. Yep. Heck yeah. Bluetooth connect to that. Play Samsung your music. TV too. I love Samsung TVs. Very nice. Yeah. Next compartment, storage. Now this one does have a GFI outlet in it back here. And they put a spin out right here for you to be able to take the cord down through there instead of trying to pinch it in the door. Got really nice bulb seals on there, and so it shouldn't hurt the cord, but they put that spin out in there. Power step. Entry doors right here, midship, which is really nice. Uh, you have keyless entry to be able to get into this rig, which is great. Get your rear tires there. They're aluminum as well. And your backup or docking lights. More storage right here. Now, all of these are going to have LED lights in them. Uh, this one has a, a 110 outlet on the GFI circuit as well. 
glass compartment has your central vac in it and another 110 outlet. So you got three outlets on this side. That's very nice. All right, let's move around to the back. Let's do it. All right, coming around to the back, first thing you're going to notice is a two-piece fiberglass cap. You have the bumper separate from the rear cap. That way, if God forbid you do take a hit in the back, you do not have to replace the whole cap. You can just do the bumper section. Uh, this has the 20,000 pound hitch on it. Down here, you have your seven pin connector. Uh, that's going to take care of electric brakes and lighting on the trailer. Uh, and you also have a voyage data connection. That's for putting a rear view camera on a trailer so you can switch back and forth between the truck and the trailer cam. Uh, only other thing on here that I like to point out is the exhaust for the generator comes out the back here so it's not underneath of a slide out. All right, let's move around to the other side. Let's do it. All right, coming around to the side, the last compartment has your power cord reel in it. Abby likes that. Yeah. Push a button and it retracts it in. You have all the electrical step downs and the spin out for the cord to go through. Another 110 outlet. That makes four outside now. And that's your auto transfer switch, uh, which is going to take the power back and forth between generator and shore power. All right. Next compartment is the generator. All of the services have been recorded right there on the generator. This rig and generator and aqua hot has been serviced regularly. There's only, I think, 3,600 miles on this rig. So it is a really, really nice rig. Uh, nice thing that I like to point out about the generator, there's two screws right here and then two on the other side. So if you ever needed to remove the generator, Renegade has designed this to make it really easy to do so. For a regular service, you do not need to remove the generator. Just if you needed some sort of a major service, they made it easy to get out. Got your other docking light right there. Now there's two exhaust pipes here. The one in the back was the generator exhaust. This one is gonna be for your aqua hot, and that one is for the engine. This is your wet bay. Let's go through that. You do have a sewer tube storage compartment. That's your low point drain for the plumbing. You have your spigot your power hose reel, so you can just pull this hose out and just hit the button to retract it. Your black and your gray dump valves are right here. Uh, you have your black tank flush, your park cable hookup, and over here you have your um, temperature sensor for the bay because this area is heated, and this does have a, a full house filtration, but I believe it's winterized right now and that housing is off right now. Next two compartments are just your waste tank area. I like to show this one because you're gonna hook up your sewer tube right there. They do have a spin out below that, so when you take off that cap, if there's any residual water in there, it's gonna drip on the ground instead of into your compartment. Uh, then this spin out is where you're gonna take your sewer tube out and down. 75 gallon waste tanks, black and gray are both 75 gallons. Fresh water is 150. This is the other waste tank compartment. And that is heated by the aqua hot system as well as tank heaters these next two compartments have never been used so if you look in here nice storage compartment with the led light super clean same thing with the next one right there and the reason these weren't used is because he has a stacker trailer everything went in the stacker trailer all right, first compartment is your batteries. You have your truck batteries up front, your house batteries right here. Also in this compartment right here, you have the air compressor hookup. That is an 18.7 cubic foot per minute air compressor. Will go up to 120 pounds PSI. So you can fill an RV tire if you wanted to. Again, dual fuel fill. So you have 50 gallon tanks on either side. Your DEF is right here. And then you have your engine block heater right here. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but it does have side view cameras as well as the backup camera. Uh, you have power heated mirrors up top, blind spot mirrors on the bottom. They are manual and not heated. And this is prepped for a CB. Very nice. So Abby, that is the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go show them the inside. Let's do it. All right, Abby, come on in. Let's show them how you can get through this rig with the slides closed. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna head this way. These stairs are so pretty. Yeah, they light up too, which is really nice. No problem. The, the hallway back here to the bathroom does not get any smaller. You can get into the bathroom, you can get to the sink. Guys, yeah, slides are in. Yeah, this <laughs> thing's wide open. Show them how you can get all the way up to the cab area. Oh, no problem here. I don't even have to go sideways. Look at that. 
Okay. Cool. Tons of tons of space. Spin around so they can see how much space is actually sure. here. I mean, in front of the kitchen is the widest area. I mean, this is there's gorgeous. no problem. Wow. All right, let's open it up and show them the rest. Let's do it. All right, let's start at the cab and we'll work our way back. So both of these seats are gonna swivel around and they're gonna become part of the living space. You do, well, they put these curtains in here. This is nice, look at that. It's gonna separate the cab area off from the rest of the coach. Oh, very nice. That'll keep it nice and cool in here when you have the air on. You got storage up here. Looks like all of your uh, books and everything are in there. And then there's uh, storage here, leveling jacks, inverter button, satellite button, and uh, TV antenna are all up here. If you wanted to install the solar, which this is prepped for, that would go right here, the, the controller for that. And then on this side, a little bit more storage. Your awning controllers are in there. Just got some nice adjustable shelf storage in there. All right, so this already has a brake controller in it, which is nice. And you got your steering wheel here with tilt and telescope. Your turn signal and your wiper uh, controls are right there. You do have your power mirror switch right there. Uh, fog lamps, and this does have a axle lock in the back, so you can make it uh, uh, locked out for one-to-one -one posse. Your shifter's right there. You got your brakes here, parking brake. Power windows, mirror heat, lock and unlock. All of your HVAC is right here. Regen for the uh, uh, filter. And then your engine brake here. You do have high and low on the engine brake. And here's where you can switch back and forth between trailer and truck cam. This is going to take care of your side view and backup cameras as well as your infotainment and it also has garmin rv built right in for uh, putting in your height and your weight uh, tire pressure monitoring system right there and then you do have access to the radio through power ports behind this so very very nice cab this is prepped for a cb radio right here behind this panel all right and this does have the air horn hookup right there all right let's move back a little bit this is, I really like this floor plan. And the reason why is it because it has opposed seating. You have a love seat on this side and over on this side, you have the really nice theater seats. There's a release right here. Those can go out almost fully flat. Man, I can take a nap there. Enough from you, peanut gallery. Um, there is one 10 outlets with USBs on the wall right beside the theater seats. There's also 110 outlet with two USBs nice. inside of there and a little storage area for your remotes, cup holders, uh, multiplex lighting system throughout. We'll go back and show you the touch screen in a minute. And over here, you do have the power lift for the TV. So go ahead and pan over to the other okay. side. But if you have guests over and you don't want to be watching the TV, you can always keep that down in the countertop. Very cool. Now this is a 50 amp service, so it does have two rooftop air conditioners, both 15,000 with heat pumps. Let's move over to this kitchen. First, let's show them the floor. This is polished porcelain tile floor, nice rope lighting underneath of the countertops, as well as accent lighting in the slide fascia, and then along the slide uh, vertical parts right here. And that's on both sides. This is all lit as well. And then the top of the slide fascia is lit as well. Gorgeous kitchen with all stainless steel appliances. You got the big 30 inch convection microwave oven with the electric cooktop right here, true induction electric cooktop. With the covers, so to give you more countertop space. All of your audio visual is going to be right in this compartment. You got a big pot and pan drawer here. Abby, this is really nice. I want you to show the side of the drawer here. This is dovetailed drawers. So really, really nice built cabinetry. All of the drawers are dovetailed and soft closed throughout. So you're going to have soft closed drawers in the kitchen, bathroom, and the bedroom. This rig is spotless it's spotless a 2020 model guys and it looks brand new smells great it looks great this this is actually cleaner probably than when they picked it up from me <laughs> um storage underneath of the sink now the sink is a single basin which i like you can get bigger pots and pans and stuff in there to watch i don't like the dual basins kind of get a little tight and this does have the residential pull out sprayer faucet 
So in the newer models, they went away from this polished tile floor to a honed tile and they went away from this really nice ledger backsplash to a smooth backsplash. I really like the look of both of these. Upper cabinets, tension hinges on all of your lift up cabinets, so they're gonna stay wherever you leave them. I really like that feature. Multiplex right here as well. That's the kitchen. Over to the dining area. Dream dinette, so this will go down to a sleeper. There's a little lever on the bottom. You just flip that lever over and that slides right down into a sleeper. And you do have drawers on either side, one there and one right here for a little bit more storage. Oh, we got some water and soda in there. Um, all the storage compartments on this side are also gonna have tension hinges. So they're all gonna open up and that goes all the way across. That's really nice. I love night. the woodwork in here. It's gorgeous. This is not the high gloss, which I like. It's kind of a matte finish. The high gloss is a little too flashy for me. Um, I like that they put day and night shades. This is the day shade. And then you have your full privacy night shade, night shade. And that's throughout the coach. Wow. There's curtains in the front and then the rest of the shades. Then moving on back, you got your pantry right here. And this is a really nice slide out pantry. And that's oh. also soft close. That's cool. Yeah, very nice. Sucks back in by itself. You got the latch on there. So the bottom is not pantry. You have 12 volt breakers and 110 breakers. Something I really like about the breaker boxes is it, it's gonna tell you what will work off of your generator or shore power and then what will work off the inverter. So the bottom is the inverter and the top is shore power and generator. Now this does have the aqua hot system. So anywhere you see one of these louvered vents like this, that's gonna be your heating. So there's some under the kitchen, bedroom right here in the middle. Moving on back, full size residential refrigerator. This thing is gigantic, look at this. Wow. That's as big as our house refrigerator. Uh, maybe bigger. Yep, a lot of storage over top. There's the central vac tools. Samsung, Samsung refrigerator. <laughs> and then you have the, the the chest, uh, the drawer on the bottom for the freezer. Well, it's huge. Yeah, with a nice tray. It does have the ice maker. Now this has latches. So if you're going to motion, you lock that and you lock that. You don't have to worry about either of them sliding open. Before we go back into the back, I do want to show you the multiplex system. This is the Firefly multiplex system. That's going to be the system that runs the entire coach. Very, very nice. Like it. Very user friendly. You can link your phone to that and operate everything by your phone. Very cool. Moving on back, pocket door of the bathroom. We like pocket doors, minimizes do. space for sure. Yep. Maximizes space. It does, <laughs> maximizes the space. You got your stackable washer and dryer. Nice thing about these, they're on their own shelves and locked into place. You need to take out one, you don't need to take out the other one to get the other one out. Very nice. Come on back, split bathroom. I like this because you do have a door in the front there. You got your sink on one side with the nice medicine cabinet back here with the mirror, adjustable shelves in there, more storage here, and then you got three drawers and more storage underneath of there. Tons of countertop space. And then you have your shower and toilet on this side. Pocket door here. Like it. Porcelain toilet with the, with the push button flush. And that is a resin lid, so that's a real toilet. You got the nice power fan up top. And then a quarter radius shower. Beautiful. Beautiful shower. Yep. Love it. Storage in here as well. And let's switch places and I'll go back into the bedroom. All right. Coming back into the bedroom, you have an RV king bed. Uh, it's a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter than a regular king. There are nightstands on either side of the bed with 110 outlets and 12 volt uh, USB ports. It's a sharp bed. I love this. The uh, headboard is beautiful. You got windows on either side for cross ventilation, tons of storage up there, and a ceiling fan. I love that feature. Hey, Over here you have your egress window. Nice thing about the egress window is you can use that as a regular window as well. All you have to do is push that out and it gets propped open. So now you can have both side windows open, bringing in fresh air as you sleep. TV back here. There's one outside, one in the living room. Big wardrobe here. So these are the pillows that are gonna make your dinette into a sleeper. There's a second wardrobe underneath right here. So that's got a huge wardrobe up top, a smaller one underneath, all soft closed drawers with dovetail below. Very cool. And all of your 
all of your audio visuals right here in this cabinet. You got a couple more drawers and another storage. What do you think, Rose? <laughs> now there's not storage under the bed, folks. That's where your 150 gallons of fresh water is. The pump is under there. The low point drains under there. And there's even a clear tube that hooks to the pump to make it easy to winterize this coach. Very neat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, that is a new listing, 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LTS floor plan. If you would like to know more, or if you have any questions, you can text, call, or email me. Abby, let's give them once through, and we will wrap this up. All right, guys, check her out. She's available. Beautiful coach. Bring it home, Jimmy. All right, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.